Now, not only can chat GPT kind of send you text, it's becoming more advanced in its abilities to basically speak as it informs and interacts with you. Chat GPT finally got its freedom and now has eyes, ears, and a voice. You did hear it correctly. A new version of ChatGPT from OpenAI allows the chatbot to see and listen. Now users may talk to ChatGPT audibly and respond to photos they upload. The most recent version of ChatGPT now has two additional features that make it more human-like than ever. It can now communicate with users using synthetic voices that sound more human than those of other digital assistants. Users have a choice of five speech options, including male and female voices. Additionally, it can now respond to images that users upload. A large language model that drives by examining billions of words on the internet, ChatGPT has gained the capacity to produce natural language. With the addition of speech functionality, ChatGPT may now resemble voice assistant like Siri and Alexa. It's genuinely different because it's run on LLM technology and can therefore handle a multitude of themes and jobs without being pre-programmed. A computer can write and, more recently, even read out emails, poems, term papers, and jokes. A large language model is a form of advanced language model that is developed on a vast amount of text data using deep learning techniques. These models are capable of producing writing that appears human and carrying out numerous tasks involving natural language processing. The definition of language model, on the other hand, refers to the idea of ascribing probabilities to word sequences based on the examination of text corpora. There are different levels of complexity for language models, ranging from straightforward and gram models to intricate neural network models. But the phrase large language model typically refers to models that make use of deep learning methods and have a lot of parameters, from millions to billions. According to OpenAI, the new features are intended to increase ChatGPT's usability and accessibility for all users. Additionally, it makes the case that ChatGPT's voices are more convincing than those of other well-known digital assistants, particularly for those who are not at ease with typing or reading. The gadget might be perceived as a more natural means of engaging with its chatbot. The image feature is also quite useful in the meantime. Users can upload a picture, graph, or diagram, for instance, and ChatGPT will describe in great detail and respond to inquiries about its contents. For those who are blind or wish to understand more about something they see, this could be a helpful tool. Despite having shown off the image tool back in the spring, OpenAI claimed it delayed a public release out of concern over abuse. The business was concerned that the product would develop into, among other things, a face recognition tool for swiftly identifying individuals and photographs. Over the next two weeks, ChatGPT Plus and enterprise subscribers will have access to the new version of the software. ChatGPT Plus is a $20 monthly service. However, only Android, iPhone, and iPad devices support the voice capability. Mobile and web-based devices can both use the image capability. In recent weeks, OpenAI has started releasing its AI tools at a rapid pace. A new version of its DALI image generator was previously released, and it has been incorporated into ChatGPT, so that users can ask Chatbot to create photos on their behalf. On September 20th, a group of testers for OpenAI's most recent AI art tool, DALI, received the third generation. By automatically elaborating on the prompt to provide the generator with more comprehensive and compelling instructions, Dolly 3 makes use of OpenAI's chatbot, ChatGPT, to produce more intricate and meticulously produced works of art. Though ChatGPT conversational interface, Dolly 3, users can generate desired visuals with precise commands. Additionally, it allows people to edit a creation using suggestions made by ChatGPT. The AI chatbox text generator capability reduces part of the complexity needed to polish the text that is provided to the system. Dolly, which debuted in 2022, is built on an algorithm that was trained using sizable collection of caption photos. It makes predictions about how to create an image for a given stimulus using a series of algorithms that can learn the structures of an image. Dolly can create complex images with massive data set training. Dolly's integration with ChatGPT will enable OpenAI to further establish its chatbot platform as a generative AI hub for creating unique words, images, works of art, and other content. Modern text-to-image systems tend to ignore words or descriptions, forcing users to learn prompt engineering. Dolly 3 represents a leap forward in our ability to generate images that exactly adhere to the text you provide, OpenAI said. Even with the same text prompt, the Sam Altman-led startup claims that Dolly 3 will bring significant improvements over Dolly 2. Additionally, just as Dolly 2, users do not require OpenAI's permission to reprint, sell, or otherwise commercialize the photos produced by Dolly 3. What has Dolly 3 changed? 
According to OpenAI, it has strengthened security measures in regard to producing photographs of famous people, disseminating propaganda or false information, and producing violent, offensive, or adult content. Since it was introduced in November of last year, ChatGPT has gathered hundreds of millions of users. Additionally, it served as inspiration for several other businesses, including Google Bard and Microsoft Bing to develop related services. OpenAI is gaining ground on its competition in the field of conversational AI with the new version of ChatGPT while simultaneously competing with more traditional technologies like Alexa and Siri. The ability of OpenAI's chatbot to access the internet in real time and provide direct connections to its sources. Those who subscribe to ChatGPT Plus and Enterprise will have access to the new features. As a result, ChatGPT will no longer be restricted to data from prior to 2021 for paying customers, opening the door to additional features and boosting the chatbot's dependability. Through the Bing web browser from Microsoft, ChatGPT can access the internet. The partnership was first announced at Microsoft Build in May, and then it was made available to ChatGPT Plus subscribers. However, after a few months, OpenAI turned it off because users were abusing the tool to bypass paywalls. Since the original release in May, OpenAI reported that the business has gotten constructive users' input that has been included in the current update, including following robot.txt and identifying user agents so sites can control how ChatGPT interacts with them. OpenAI promises that the capability will be made available to all users in the near future for those people who are eager to use it. Until then, MingChat is a good substitute because it's free, supported by GPT-4, has an internet connection, and gives sources. Only a few days prior, OpenAI declared that ChatGPT could see, hear, and speak, referring to its ability to both receive and respond to voice and visual commands. Within the following two weeks, users will be able to access the new search and response features, which are also only available to ChatGPT Plus and Enterprise subscribers. Earlier, Sam Altman led OpenAI and announced the release of ChatGPT Enterprise, a business-focused edition of the company AI-powered chatbot app, in the effort to capitalize on ChatGPT's viral success. The platform asserts that it will transform several elements of the corporate world. ChatGPT has been widely adopted since the debut, especially by Fortune 500 companies. More than 80% of the businesses have accounts registered under their company email domains. Earlier users include industry titans like Block, Canva, Carlyle, Estee Lauder companies, PwC, and Zapier. But what does this signify for the larger business environment? ChatGPT Enterprise, which OpenAI initially hinted at in a blog post earlier this year, is capable of carrying out the same functions as ChatGPT, including email writing, essay writing, and code debugging. On top of the standard ChatGPT, the new solution also provides enterprise-grade privacy and data analysis tools, improved performance, and customization possibilities. That's it. What do you think of these rapid advancements in ChatGPT? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. For more videos like this, subscribe to this channel.